What up, Young Hollywood? It's your boy, David Mendez, and we are here at the 2017 SB Red Carpet. The energy is electric, carpet is blazing, and we're gonna keep it lit. We are here with Mike Conley Jr., and I gotta just say, you look fresh. <laughs> As we are here with Richard Sherman, tell me about the experience on the red carpet. It's always phenomenal. You meet so many beautiful, amazing, powerful people. Um, I'm just thankful that I could be here and experience it. Um, it's always a blessing to be here. Man, it's great, you know, seeing all these beautiful people, you know, everybody in their suits and their dresses, and everybody looks fantastic. It's fun, man. Everyone likes to play dress up. You know, my suit looks pretty good, too, so I had to throw that shot out there. Make oh, sure yeah. you take a look at that. It took me five minutes to get ready. My wife took three hours. I took five minutes to get ready. Uh, you know, this is my first ESPYs. You know, I'm definitely, uh, well, I was enjoying the weather until I got on the red carpet. It's very, very hot, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let Turn the TV fool you. Now, this is the 25th anniversary, Peyton Manning's hosting. If you had the opportunity to host, what kind of style, what kind of energy you bring in? I'm going to see how Peyton does this year, and I'll think about it in the future. Oh, it's going to be pure comedy. I got to have pure comedy. I got to have you laughing. I got to make you uncomfortable. Um, you, you roasting know. people? Oh, for sure. I'm, I'm picking people out the crowd and everything. If I was hosting, I'm bringing, I'm bringing out all my friends, man. We, I'm, I'm bringing out food for my friends. We, we watching a bunch of clips. It be going down. Man. Just give us a nice WWE promo. Wait a second. Wait a second. You're gonna ask me to do my job in WWE on the red carpet. You're like, oh, hey, Miss, why don't you just cut a promo to the camera about you hosting the ESPYS next year? Well, let me tell you something, okay? The ESPYS this year, you have Peyton Manning. Last year, you had John Cena. What about the most must-see WWE superstar of all time? The most must-see superstar of all time in all of entertainment, in all of sports. Forget about football, forget about basketball, forget about baseball. How about we put them all into one, wrap them up into a present, and put The Miz as the host as the ESPYs 2018? I'm it in. will be awesome. And don't you dare put the mic to yours when I'm still going. I'm bringing tons of jokes, man. You got you to gotta roast some people in the crowd, too. Okay, you're so roasting people. I, yeah, I try to roast a little. A lot of people, man, make people laugh. I think I'd have a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of nerve wracking, but you know, if I got my rhythm, I think I'd do great. Try and make it really funny and engaging, just as like upbeat and comical as I could. Some rappers or something, guest appearance on there. Get the, make sure everybody's live through the whole show. You know what? I'm a big Dave Chappelle fan. So I, I don't know if I could just do a stand up comedy and you know, make people laugh, but everybody loves a sketch. If you actually had the opportunity to win something, made up something here at ESPYs, what award would you want to win? Best play, best comeback? Oh, it'd be, it'd be best player or, or best athlete. I mean, come on, that's, was, that's the ultimate award. I mean, you already got the best dress, yeah, best hands down. Best. best dress might be mine, but uh, outside of that, um, I think just if, they, if there was a good person award, just being like a really good dude, I think that'd be cool. Best dressed. Best dress. <laughs> yeah, but why not? You're looking pretty sharp. All right, best play, most improves. You know, hopefully win the championship so we get recognized for that as well, too. But uh, just really try to win everything. Best player. Best player. They have like the best player award. There's a best one I want. Okay, like an MVP or something. Yeah, like that. something of like that. Entire yeah. sports world. Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> That's what I want my award to say best player. We're going to have to upgrade this. But it's coming soon. Yeah. It's coming yeah, soon. Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather. I'm sure you know about this fight. Who do you got? Who do you think I got? Money May. Money May all day. Who's, who's beating Floyd so far? <laughs> money team. I am. Yeah. yeah, I'm with the money team. Yeah. All the way, money team. All the way, all the way. Is anybody really thinking Conor's going to win? Hey, that's like, when I was there, the crowd was going crazy for Conor. But that's, I, like, that's like me saying I could beat LeBron one-on-one. -on -one. You, you can't bet against a guy who hasn't really lost. I think they're both great fighters in their respective sports. You know, Conor McGregor's taking a leap to jump over to boxing. You know, I think it's going to be a great fight. You know, maybe the best man win. McGregor's. He, he's never boxed before. He's not, I don't think he's going to be able to hit Floyd like he thinks he's going to hit him. I'm not telling you to put your money anywhere, but if I was a betting man, I would put it on Floyd Mayweather. Floyd's a master at what he does. You know, he's the best in the history of boxing, so. Connor's athletic, but he's not a boxer. Well, maybe he is, we just never knew, but Floyd Mayweather, there's a reason why he All hasn't lost. All it takes lost. is one punch, you know what I mean? That's what everybody says, and he hasn't lost yet. Floyd Mayweather, money team. Boom. Oh.